In this lesson, we'll learn how to animate between two screens in Figma using Smart Animate. Hello and welcome back for another video. So in our previous lesson, we recreated Spotify's media player. So to pick up where we left off, we'll recreate the lyric screen. And from there, we'll learn how to um, animate between the media player and the expanded lyric screen that we'll design later on. So this is going to be a very fun lesson. So let's get started. So to give you a little bit of information and background about how Smart Animate works in Figma, you need to have two or more different states. So that can be two screens, two frames, and so on. Basically, you need to have a starting point and an end point. So if we duplicate our frame here and change the position of this element to the center, just like that, and change its size, if we enable the Smart Animate transition here, so just drag this circle to the screen four, and make sure Smart Animate is selected. Basically, once we do this, um, Figma will automatically calculate the difference between the two states as well as automatically create a smooth transition between these two for you. So now here's the catch. Smart Animate emulates um, CSS transitions one-to-one, -one, so it's very important that the layering and the naming of your elements are the same across multiple frames or multiple screens. So as you can see, Screen one is named circle. Basically all these are named circle, just like that. All elements are named circle. However, screen two is spelled incorrectly. As you can see, it's C-R-I-C-L-C-L-E. So we won't change that, but I'm gonna give you an example as to why this won't work. So if we play, select play. So this is screen one. And when we press screen two, the transition is not seamless. However, if we go to screen three and screen four, you can see that the transition is very seamless, it's very smooth, and there's some sort of logic between this screen three to screen four. So like I said, the reason why this flow one, this screen one, screen two doesn't have a smooth transition is because screen two is misspelled. The element here is misspelled. So because of this, Figma won't be able to calculate properly the difference between circle and this element that's spelled incorrectly. So take note that when you are um, applying Smart Animate for your um, designs, you need to make sure that the structure and the naming of your elements are exactly the same. So to remedy this, you just need to make sure that to duplicate the screen and not recreate another screen from scratch. Because if you recreate another screen from scratch, you are running the risk of not being able to Smart Animate properly. So that's one thing to take note of. So. With that out of the way, let's proceed to creating the design for this expanded lyric section. So let's just duplicate this and let's remove, and we'll use this as the reference material. So let's just remove this image for now, group one. Let's remove this, let's just drag it here. So we'll, see, we'll use this as reference. From here, we'll just delete this. Oops, we won't delete this by the way. And we'll just adjust the properties. So, so for the image, we'll resize it to something smaller, maybe 20 or maybe 50. And then we'll adjust the stroke to maybe five or even two, something like that. So that's enough. And we'll remove this header as well. And Sunday morning, Maroon 5, let's remove this and just drag it here. and adjust the properties to something like that. So we just adjust the properties of this text as well. So 18, let's make it 14. And this one will be 12 or even 11. And we'll adjust the spacing between these two. Or yeah, I think they're already good. They're already zero. So we'll just change the um, to packed. And then let's just adjust the padding to 100 or something like that. And 20, or that's good. Let's just keep this because we still have the pause button. So let's remove the shuffle. So let's just click this icon. Then click on this icon as well. Click on the repeat and click on this eye icon as well. And same goes for the other elements, just like that. 
So we won't be necessarily um, deleting them from the our layers panel. We'll just make them disappear for now. And then from there, we will remove this as well. And this one, just like that. And let's copy this. And just like that. And from here, let's bring back the shuffle button. Make it appear like that. Let's just make it zero. So we'll still have the play or rather the pause icon in the middle and the share icon on the side. So it's here. Okay. So from there, we'll just delete this. We'll just resize this lyrics master frame and make it full page. But before we do that, we need to make sure that this Sunday morning text, let's, uh, we won't rename this because it contains the same um, layer name from screen one. So we won't be renaming anything here to make sure that smart animate works. So we'll just make sure that frame three is on the top layer as well as the image one. So from there, we'll just make sure that this lyrics frame will um, cover all the screen from top to bottom. So let's just adjust it from here. Let's choose, make sure to choose the lyrics frame. And from there, we'll, we'll adjust the size just like that, make it snap. Zoom in if you want to um, get closer, just like that. So when in doubt, you can just adjust it via here. So to make more precise adjustments via the numbers. So just like that, I think we're all good. So from here, we'll be adjusting the properties of this text. So this will be Lyrics Master. Make sure to select frame 16 because this contains, this is the frame that contains the text or the lyrics itself. So make sure to adjust the um, padding, top, top padding to maybe 44 or 100, even 200 or something like that, or even 164 is a good. Then from there, let's make sure it's 20 or even 40 or 32. That's closer. And make sure to make it snap to the right. And from here, we'll remove this more icon. Just make it invisible and the lyrics as well. Basically, this um, frame 15 will make it disappear. Just like that. So from here, we'll also remove the gradient layer because we don't need it anymore. And the share icon, we don't need it as well. Let's make sure to make it invisible. And from there, we'll just Google Sunday morning lyrics again. Let's just copy this and go back and paste everything else. So as you can see, we still have a lot of space here. And I just realized that we don't have the media player and the um, scroll bar here. And the reason is because it's in the bottom, it's behind this um, frame layer. So we need to make sure to put them on the front or on top. So let's just find it. So press on this frame and it's named as frame four. And this one is named frame six. So we'll look for frame four and frame six on our screen two frame and make sure to select them both by holding con command or control. Then once you've selected them both, make sure to hold command option and right bracket. And then from there, they will just show up just like that. Now we have our media player. So just make sure to adjust the properties of this um, scroll bar. So we'll just change this to maybe something lighter. Just like that. Maybe 50. And cool. That's all good. And I think... We also need to look for frame five, which contains our timestamps. So look for frame five under screen two. This is it. 
as you can see it's highlighted here so press command option right bracket as well you can see it just pop up just like that and put it right below this um, scroll bar just like that make sure it snaps and change the um, color of this as well to something that's similar so this is e9 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 let's just copy paste that color property make sure it's the same and just like that so double check so these three stacks on top of each other perfectly so that's all good and let's just make sure that this will snap just like that as well and from here we still have enough space here so let's just remove this by dragging up the canvas or the frame and also the home indicator needs to be on top as well so we can see that and also the status bar that just like that so we can have a better scale or understanding of our ui so from here um let's just select them all option l hold select them all and just make sure that this will snap right here so from here we we also have enough space on the top so let's just select this too and drag it make sure to make sure to that it will snap on this um status bar area and from here we also still have enough space and as you can see our frame bounding box isn't properly covering our text and to do that just click on this resize to fit and just like that it's now showing properly so let's just resize it as well and just like that that's our lyrics master so let's adjust this um frame 16. make sure you can adjust this further maybe 120 oops 120 and that's all good 132 all right that's all good I think that's about it. We just need to have the X icon. So let's look for icons eight or your icons plugin of choice. I'll look for the close icon in iOS. Mac OS close. So from here, we'll just change the color to something like, make sure to choose selection colors, something white, and then just drag it here and resize it to maybe 24 our usual sizes or maybe 32 or even 44 yeah that's good so it's not the same as the spotify ui i think this is a proprietary or this is a custom icon that spotify itself designed so we don't have that in our plugin so it's okay this is the best thing that we can find so just like that just drag it here maybe make sure that it will be inside the frame tree or not because it's not in this as you can see right here it's not in the same box or the same um row so it's okay if it's just above sitting above this um, frame so if we close this and click on screen two you can see mac os close oops mac os close is sitting will be sitting on the top just like that all right that's good so let's double check on our um frames icons so from here our expanded lyric section is done so the next thing to do is to make sure to enable smart animate so let's click on prototype on the right side so you can choose whichever element but i think i'd prefer this one either the lyrics or the more so let's choose the lyrics here make sure that the lyrics section is selected and then drag this circle and the arrow to here to the next frame make sure smart animate is enabled and ease out or maybe even ease in so from there all we need to do is press play and as you can see right here is our screen one and if we click lyrics just like that our lyrics expanded beautifully expanded seamlessly so let's go back to our canvas so if you click x and click here and drag it here it'll go back to our media player basically that's basically closing our lyric expanded lyric section so this will be ease in this will be this should be ease out and this will be ease in 
All right, so let's redo this um, prototype again. So click on screen one, click on play. So let's scroll down and click on lyrics. And that's a beautiful transition, very seamless. And then let's click with our new animation, let's click close or the X and just like that. So let's do that again. And this one, it's a very seamless, beautiful transition. And yeah, that's all done with Smart Animate on Figma. So remember when using a Smart Animate, duplicate the screen and don't try to like recreate everything from scratch because that will just mess up how Smart Animate works. All right, so that's our two-part lesson on recreating and animating the Spotify UI all in Figma. So this is just the tip of the iceberg um, when it comes to learning Figma's prototyping and um, animation features. So if you are interested to know more about it, make sure to stay tuned for future lessons. In the meantime, I hope the past two lessons have inspired you to explore Figma on your own and recreate apps that you like for practice. Figma is a very beginner friendly tool and we highly recommend using it when learning how to design UIs. So as usual, the resource file for this lesson is in the description if you want to further study the design file yourself. And if you have any questions, feel free to post in the code group forum and I'll be happy to help. Again, make sure to keep on practicing your design and Figma skills because I know I will and it would mean a lot if you would too. With those things said, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next lesson.